So how is your preparation going on? Uh, today I am thinking of taking up uh, some assertives that uh, one of my candidates who is uh, taking classes with me, so he chose this SRT and uh, he gave the reply and where he was feeling some difficulty, he asked my clarification. So in today's question, we will discuss this SRT and one more SRT and if time permits, we will discuss one TAT story also. So have patience and watch carefully. Now the SRT I will read out. His friend has organized a birthday party but he did not receive the invitation. Other friends approached him to attend the party. He. So the case here is that his friend had organized a birthday party. He did not receive the invitation. You see now when I say focus on the words carefully. It is the written script, you have to read the words and in between the words only the answer is hidden. Most of the SRTs, I am not saying every, every situation will be different, but in most of the cases the answer will be hidden between the words, between the lines. Now let us re-examine this, I will read out slowly. His friend has organized a birthday party. So this is a factual statement, uh, his friend has organized a birthday party, okay, it's alright, but he did not receive the invitation, he did not receive the invitation, his friend has organized a birthday party, but he did not receive the invitation, that is important, other friends approached him to attend the party, now he did not receive the invitation, this is the catch word here. Now with this SRT, the uh, psych or the person who has drafted this SRT is trying to instigate your negative thoughts. He is trying to give an impression to you that you are not invited. There is a party, you are not invited. Now the point which is hidden here, he did not receive the invitation, it is not said that he was not invited, that's why I am saying that you please focus on the written word, it is not said that he was not invited, yeah his friend did not invite him, there is a slight difference, so he did not receive the invitation, it can be understood that he was not invited, but it is not written so. Other friends approached him to attend the party, he. So, what this candidate has written the response is, Sir, the response I wrote for this is, Happily went to party, hugged and wished friend wholeheartedly. His friend apologized as he forgot to invite him. As he forgot to invite him. So, he is also uh, uh, understanding that he was not invited. Why it is written that he did not receive the invitation. There is slight difference between the two. He forgot to invite him due to busy schedule. Now he is giving an alibi. Rationalization, justification. Now the friend is apologetic. Now whether he has intentionally not invited him or uh, he did not, he invited but he did not receive the invitation. These are two things. You see we are going into deep analysis of uh, the situation. Once we understand this analysis, then we will be able to handle other SRTs also. So I am going in detail and in-depth analysis of this. The use of word, he did not receive the invitation and he was not invited are two different things. Let us understand this. Now here the entire blame is coming on the person whose birthday is there. It is a special occasion. Whether he has forgotten or whether he has intentionally not invited, now this is not the occasion to create rift, to create misunderstanding. The role of our hero should be to douse that fire, 
even if intentionally he has not been invited, there is no harm in wishing him, in greeting him, in conveying your good wishes. So your friendship will not turn into animosity because he has not invited you or you did not receive the invitation. This is the thought you have to understand and what stimulation or instigation is being given to you here is that with this word, whatever words are written, you will draw the conclusion that you were not invited and you had got into that trap. That's why I say focus on the written word. Now in the reply, reply is okay. I am not, not saying that reply is wrong. But now analyze the reply. Happily went to party. Hugged and wished friend wholeheartedly. Take care. Tell her it is alright. His friend apologized. So this is there in your mind that the friend has committed a mistake. So you are indirectly blaming, putting blame on the friend. His friend apologized as he forgot to invite him. Due to busy schedule, you are rationalizing also justification also you are doing from his side and enjoyed the party together. So overall impression, there is nothing wrong in this. Overall impression is alright. Now further he has, he has himself written. Sir, shall I include friend apologize or exclude it in the response? You see, the after my classes, the mind itself is questioning you that this word is amounting to blaming the friend to an extent. So, should I use it or not? The mind is questioning him because now in the subconscious, this thing is planted that don't blame others. Praise them. Have nice feelings and nice words. For others. Now further he writes, somehow I am not finding this word friend apologize appropriate. Kindly suggest a better phrase. So this is what he has written. I will read out the whole response once again. So the response I wrote for this is, happily went to party, hugged and wished friend wholeheartedly. His friend apologized as he forgot to invite him due to busy schedule. Enjoyed party together. Shall I include friend apologize or exclude it in the response? Somehow I am not finding this word friend apologize appropriate. Kindly suggest a better phrase. So very rightly he has understood what has been told to him and the mind is suggesting there is something wrong. He wanted clarification and I have clarified in this uh, message. He conveyed his birthday greetings telephonically in the morning. Now this is what we do. The Facebook informs, the Google informs, the calendar informs that today is your friend's birthday. So first thing, you send a message on the WhatsApp, wish you all the best and good luck and happy birthday and whatever message you want to send. Or you want to send a card. And next thing is, around uh, the time when you know that he will be free now in the morning, you ring him up. I wish you happy birthday, I sent a message also and prayers, have a great time and what are you doing, where are you going, these type of questions. You ask and you wholeheartedly wish him. Now if you have not received the invitation, that invitation is not the source of information for you that it is his birthday. Either you remembered or the Google informed you, the Facebook informed you, whatever way you got this information that it is his birthday. So your response, whether, tell me, let us assume that you knew that he has informed and he has invited others but he has not invited you. He is your friend or enemy? He is your friend, why do you want to make him an enemy? He has done something wrong, you know he has done something wrong. Maybe he has done something wrong or maybe he has just forgotten. Two possibilities. Maybe he has purposely not invited you. Maybe he has forgotten. Now when you send a message and when you call him telephonically and convey your birthday greetings, if he has forgotten to invite you, he will invite you. Hey, come in the evening. We are having a gala time. We all are meeting at that place. You are my best friend. I expect you. 
So invitation is now given. If he has forgotten this telephone, acted as a reminder also. But if he has purposely not invited you, you will come to know by his response here. So communication is more important. You communicated with him. You wished him happy birthday, friend. Very nice and have a nice time and have a good life and wish all the happiness for you. Whatever wishes you wanted to give, you gave those wishes. If he has forgotten, he will invite you. If he has not invited you, I don't think there is a purpose of going there because he might have planned something different with. Certain people in which he does not want to include you. So that is his choice. You honor and you respect his choice. No grudges, no heartburn, no ill feelings. He is a friend. He conveyed his birthday greetings telephonically in the morning. Now my suggestion is that he. It is not purposefully that he has not invited. I am again thinking. My thoughts are that in favor of the friend because he is my friend. I am still thinking that he might have forgotten. I am not blaming. That is my perception. You may have your perception. This this is my way of thinking. So when you when he rang up, friend personally invited him. Now we are not using the word apologize. This much is sufficient. There is no apology required between the friends. Or he may say in simple words, "Yeah, sorry, uh, I just missed out here. There was I was under pressure of work, or I was in the office, or I was whatever X Y Z I was doing, or I was busy with my family commitments, or X Y Z whatever may be the reason. I am so really sorry. Uh, please don't mind it. Please come. Party cannot go without you. Khatam baat." So whatever is the reason, there is no need of apology. But that is his goodness. If he is apologizing, let us not mention from our side that he apologizes. There is no requirement, and there is no harm also if you write. But apology and all that, I consider it as a negative word. So if we can avoid it and uh, convey the meaning, it's very good. If you feel no, you have to write apologize. In my opinion, you should not write. Friend personally invited him. Attended attended the party with everyone and enjoyed together. So you see, small thing, small situation, but a simple situation. देख रही है. He did not receive the invitation is the exact word. अब he did not receive the invitation का interpretation किस तरीके से आप कर रहे हो? ये आपका subconscious तय कर रहा है. Your subconscious is deciding, and the subconscious is giving out the response. And psych is reading this thing. So in the first response, psych is saying, "Okay, nothing wrong. Still, it is not damaging. It is not that you will not be recommended." But then he is getting a fair idea of the working of your mind that without any evidence, you have concluded that he was wrong. He purposely did not invite you. While in the SRT, it is not given. So these little little things happen. I have told you in the video that the फोकस ऑन द रिटर्न वर्ड लिखा क्या है उस पर पूरा ध्यान देके फिर अपना रिस्पॉन्स आप चुनो अब दूसरी एस आर टी जो इनकी है रिटर्न सर इन दी एस आर टी वी आर फ्रेंड्स कॉल ए स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट प्रिंसिपल वॉट शुड बी दी बेस्ट फ्रेस फॉर रिस्पॉन्स आई मीन ही शुड अरेंज फेस टू फेस कम्युनिकेशन आफ्टर कन्विंसिंग फ्रेंड्स not to go on strike and resolve the issue or just act as a messenger to ab yahan par bhi thoda sa difference hai srt inhone apne words mein hi diya hai uh, he has not quoted the real actual srt in his own words he has uh, given in the srt where friends call a strike against principle what should be the best phrase for response so friends call for strike so srt is something like that that is friends uh, 
called for a strike and uh, against some uh, problems or exam dates or whatever it is, some some issue, some difficulty, some conflict. So strike karenge. What should be his role? So he should become active and resolve the issue, or he should only convey to the principal that sir, they are going on strike. So me itna karne se hi mere apke university ka dust ko conveying only as a messenger. Or yahan par thoda sa baat aa jata hai ki chubli lagane wala is. In a negative sense that you are going and telling sir, they are planning a strike against you as an informer. You are acting. There can be two ways, and only as a messenger. If the principal knows about the strike thing, it is all right. If he does not know, you have informed. So you have acted as a postman, as a messenger, sir, just to inform you that the strike is being planned. So you are you have no role in conflict resolution. To write this reply, you are a passive participant. You know there is a problem, there is an issue, and you think you are duty is over by informing the authority. You have not taken any proactive steps to resolve the conflict, of which you are also associated in some way or the other. The whole college is associated. The reputation of the college is associated with that, and you are part of that college. So you just passively informed and think that you have done your duty. So this is the question again, uh, which has come in his mind, and he is asking, sir, should I only act? Should the hero only act as a messenger, or uh, should he take active part? I mean, he should arrange face-to-face -face communication, that is, resolving the issue. After convincing friends not to go on this strike and resolve the issue, so this thought is coming in his mind that should he be proactive, take participate in the, with full josh, with full capacity and efficiency in getting the issue sorted out, or should he just pass on the thing as a messenger? So I explained to him, and in the reply that I have sent to you, sent to him, I have written. Act as a responsible leader and discuss the matter with authority. So I am not narrating the reply which you are writing, which you have to write, that language you have to form. But I am conveying the sense that he should show leadership qualities in conflict resolution. Conflict resolution is an important part of your leadership role. If there is conflict. In in any category of people, with with superior, with uh, your teammates or with your subordinates, juniors, the important task of the leader is to resolve that conflict. Conflict resolution is a very important part of leadership. So, as a responsible leader, what he should do? He should discuss the matter with authorities. Also, involve senior teachers to mediate on their behalf. Resolve the conflict together. So there are certain issues where your direct one-to-one -one involvement may not yield results. Now a student is too junior to talk to the principal directly. Principal may not give him much attention or much value. So what you have done that you have acted with the help of an intermediary. You have involved. I am not using the word help. But with the involvement, with active participation of a intermediary, because that is a better way. घरों में क्या होता है? पापा ने कुछ बोल दिया, ये नहीं करना है. Conflict आ गया. What do you do? You go to your mother. You talk to your mother. कि जरा बात कर लो पापा से. Suppose you are asking for one thousand rupees and your father denies. No, there is no need. Then you don't directly talk to your father. Maybe out of respect or whatever it is. Normally, you can talk directly. Also, I'm not saying that no, it's not possible. It is possible. You can talk talk directly. But then you choose another way. That option is also available to you through intermediary. Because 
your mother will be in a better position to deal with your father better than you so same way here you have chosen an intermediary so it's a difference of approach the end result normally should be same but with your direct talk with the principal chances may be that the conflict may not be resolved that easily but if you go through an intermediary i think that is a better approach that you have go through an intermediary and then uh, you approach directly also you uh, brought out your point to the senior teachers and uh, told them sir this is the problem this is the issue they will discuss they will give solutions they will give suggestions and if they are convinced by what you are saying then they will take a stand and they will support your stand in front of the principal so your voice will be multiplied and the principal will understand things better when senior faculty members are convinced that they are trying to convince him that is the difference in approach both the situations are correct but the second one in my opinion is a better and mature way of doing it however you can do it other way also directly also but if you take the involvement of the team it is always better and here i am using the word together so resolve the conflict together it is not in isolation or not self projection that he went and he resolved the issue and everything became all right it's a team work so uh, these two srts i have discussed in detail this will give you a fair idea of how to deal with the srts and we'll continue this talk uh, in the next episode uh, i told that if time permits we will discuss tat so now i don't think there is much time left we will talk about the tat and other issues in the next video till then keep watching and thank you for uh, giving so much importance to my videos and giving your time and attention thank you so much